Hey guys, Abs here and welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I take content that's written by AI, by ChatGPT, um, and how we're able to adjust that content to make it so that it doesn't look like an AI has actually generated that content for us. Now there's a couple of advantages for this, but there's actually a couple of reasons that I'm bringing this to your attention as well. The first thing that I'm gonna bring, the, the first reason that I wanna bring it to your attention is at the moment, Google is okay with us using AI content. Okay, but down the line, should Google change which Google changes all the time. Um, and if they were to, to show uh, unliking to AI content, then that could put us into a big issue and a, in, into a big position or into a position whereby, you, you know what, it's not gonna be um, something, a, a good position to be in. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna be showing you how you can take this content from ChatGPT, how you can perform a very quick action on there um, to overcome any future issues as well. Okay, again, you can use this as is, you can work with this as as you want you can go ahead and do what i'm going to be showing you or you don't have to okay but let me show you what i've done here so i've just generated an article okay as you can see down here write me a long form article about the keyword seo and it's written me this article and it's saved over so i'm going to go over to the editor i'm going to actually pull this in here here's the article Okay, so here we go, 914 words. I just wanna make sure that you see that it's the identical article, guys, okay? So the ultimate guide to SEO and re, um, for researchers, what is SEO, why is SEO important for researchers? If we go over to the top, the ultimate guide for SEO for researchers, what is SEO, why is SEO important for researchers and what have you? Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna copy this content. Okay, I'm gonna go over to this browser and I've got a, um, an account with originality.ai. Okay, I'm gonna paste this content inside of here. Okay, so this is content created by AI. Um, I haven't edited it or changed it whatsoever. I'm not gonna check for plag plagiarism. I'm just gonna detect for AI content and I'm gonna click on scan now. Okay, and what we can see down here is this was easily able to pick up that 96% of this is actually generated by the AI. Okay, only 4% was generated by a human. And Google is exactly the same, guys. I mean, if, if this can pick it up, then Google having so many resources and so much more know-how is probably gonna have even better ways of picking this up. Okay, so this is why inside of the editor, we have these two areas that you can work with. One of them is where it allows you to translate the content that's inside of here to a language of your choice, and then it will take it from that language and translate it back to English. And another option is to work with spinned articles. Okay, so I'm gonna be showing you both of these now and show you exactly how we can do this. So the first thing I'm gonna be showing you is with Spin Rewriter. Okay, so API keys in Spin Rewriter, as you can see, I've got my confidence level set to high. This means it's only going to use very highly related synonyms to um, actually go out there and change these around for us. I'm not gonna add any anything else. I'm not gonna add auto sentences or auto paragraphs or auto new, uh, auto new paragraphs. I'm just gonna keep it as using the high confidence level. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is click on spin article. Okay, and now I have an option down here to add any keywords that I would like to protect. So let's just say, for example, if the keyword SEO, I didn't want it spun, then I can add that keyword down here along with multiple more down here as well. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about any of this at the moment. I'm I'm just gonna spin it as it is. So I'm gonna click on generate. Okay, now this is communicating with Spin Rewriter and it's gonna spin our article with Spin Rewriter and then it's gonna bring it down. So as you can see, process completed successfully. Now with the spinned article, it's gonna be saved to a different folder. So I'm gonna click on open article folder. Okay, and let me have a look at the date. Here we go, the 6th of April. So this is a spinned article. Okay, the ultimate guide to SEO for researchers. What is SEO? So I'm gonna actually copy this and I'm gonna add it inside of, let me just minimize this. And I'm gonna add it inside of here. So the original article is 914 words. You don't have to add it in here, guys. I'm just doing it so that we can see how it looks. Okay, and this one is 948 words. Okay, what I can do now is I can actually copy this and I can go back over to the browser. Okay, and I can, paste my content inside of here. Okay, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on scan again. Before we had 96% AI, check this out guys. Now we have 98% of this content is written by a human and only 2% is written by an AI. And if you actually have a look at the actual editor and have a look at this, 
as a scientist okay so this is basically um talking um okay the prompt that i made wasn't the best of promise because it's actually doing it for research and it's actually writing these things down here okay but it's saying you are constantly striving to produce high quality material that showcases your competence in your field however uh, okay so if you go through this guys you'll see that it doesn't read too bad okay but what i'm going to do is but you sure you saw here straight away instantly with the one spin we're able to get rid of the ai detection okay let me show you something else that we can do as well so i'm going to delete this and i'm going to add that article back in here again so this is the original article which was ai detected i'll actually go back here again guys and what we'll do is we'll scan it again okay so this was the original article by um chat gpt as you can see 96 percent ai generated what we're going to do now though is i'm going to actually highlight this and i'm going to go down here so the source language i'm going to say is english and now the target language i'm going to turn around and say is let's have a look let's try and pick a pick a language that's nice and different i was wondering if we've got arabic down here but we haven't got arabic down here have we okay we'll go with japanese okay so what i'm telling the software to do here okay i'll actually click on translate okay so what the software is doing here is translating this content into japanese and then it's translating it from japanese back over to english okay and this is what we've got down here and it's actually come down to 831 words now okay what we can do is we can actually take this content we can go over to the browser we can add it down here okay and I'm gonna click on scan again. So before it was 96% AI. Okay, this time it's gone to 89% AI and 11% original. Okay, so this is one way that you can actually get this done, guys. Um, another way that has been working really, really well um, is when we actually translate this content, for example, into Japanese and then from Japanese into French and then from French back over to English. Um, okay, so that works much better when you're going through two languages. Unfortunately, this software doesn't have the capabilities of doing two languages at the moment. Maybe it's something we can change further down um, in, in the future. Um, but just to let you know, um, you can create content using ChatGPT and then you can go and post that on your site as well. But just remember that content that you're posting from ChatGPT, it isn't... It, it isn't that it's not detectable it's 100 percent detectable i mean these guys are able to detect ai generated content and so will google as well at the moment we know google is happy with us using ai content but should that change down the line or should google not be revealing stuff to us such as for example if you use ai content when it's when it's compared to other people's websites that aren't using ai content then you might get a lower ranking as opposed to using original content we, we don't know these things yet these are things that we're trying to do case studies on um but what i will mention to you guys is if you are generating content inside of chat gpt then performing a few changes even just going through a translation service even going through a spinning service will allow you to make sure that your content is no longer detectable by ai or as if it's been written by ai so anyway guys you can get access to these um they're very f um um popular services so spin rewriter guys is probably the best spinner um it's not the best spinner but it's the it's called spin rewriter and there is actually another tool called the best spinner but the one the software works with is called spin rewriter um and it's super cheap guys you can even try it for free so definitely go ahead and work with this if you're not already working with this and when it comes to deeper api then this is also free as well guys you just come over to deeper api Okay, um, and all you have to do is go over to go to Deeper Translator, and then you go over to API. Um, and when you go into API, you click on Sign Up for free. And as you can see, you got a free package down here that's always free, or you got some paid packages as well. So the free package works really well, guys. Um, as mentioned to you, at the moment we don't have the ability to translate between multiple languages and then back over to English. Um, that is something that we do have inside of buffer site wizard and it is something we could probably add to this as well at the moment you can't but if you do translate it into multiple languages it works out to be much better um, quality um, and of course you can use the best spinner as well um, and the best spinner works really really well and you can always you, you know you know um, protect any of these terms that you didn't want to get spun as well
So anyway, um, I thought I'll just make this video um, just to give you guys a heads up that, you know what, if you are generating content and you are filling out blogs, then you know what, maybe it's going to be a better way to generate that content, perform a few tweaks from that content to make sure that it's future proof and then go out and generate those blogs.